welcome once again to the channel i am at 10 and today we take a look at possible deck combination so the decks that we're looking at are the three decks that i showcased yesterday so the three combination that i showcased yesterday for those of you who didn't see the video are uh, just to jog your memory it's this one using supreme santa as the booster card and it's gonna boost uh, the three noble killer cards on the deck and these three noble killer cards are combat ready crew Phantom Unseen and Bloody Mary. And the card that's gonna give me the killer skill is none other than Apex Predator. On this one, we've got Apex Predator, we've got Frozen Devastation, and then we've got Lost Kingdom Guardian and Watchers of the Wave. And the booster card is none other than the Jailers. Last but not least, this is the one using um, Headstrong Siren as the booster card is gonna boost all the chaotic killer cards on the deck and this is the, the previous water Slayer deck and Apex Predator is the card that's gonna give you your killer skill so we're gonna start first and foremost with Supreme Santa and I'm gonna activate this deck from right to left and if you take um, a look at the activation sequence you'll see that we get a full board of power gem when Phantom Unseen actually activates. And once we get Secret Santa to actually boost our deck, then we just deal our damage. So the maximum damage was dealt by Combat Ready Crew, which was over 30 trillion. And that's using one key. Now we're gonna take a look at the same deck, but this time we're gonna use three keys and we're gonna see how much damage we're able well this one is a um, eternal boss so it's nine keys but it deals round about roughly the same amount of damage it's the same activation sequence we need eight or more power gems on the board to get a ten times multiplier from supreme center so we've got eight or more power gems on the board so we've got that ten times multiplier let's see the total damage that will deal so 208 trillion 156 and 91 trillion so that's roughly oh almost 500 trillion dealt by that combination so that deck is not too bad it's not gonna deal quadrillions of damage but it does deal decent damage because it's in the hundreds of trillion Let's take a look at the next deck up, which is this one. I think this one is the best, simply because um, you can get over 2.4, well, not 2.4, 2,400 2, um, boosts coming from the Jailers. And if you had a few relics for the Jailers, you can actually activate the Jailers as well to get 3,600 uh, 3, boosts. However, I would advise against that because the more earth gems you've got on the board, it prevents your water gems from crushing, which reduces the total amount of damage that you're able to deal. You probably could um, rely on your cards actually overwriting those gems. So uh, Lost Kingdom Guardian and Watchers of Rave does generate quite a number of water gems. So that may overwrite uh, quite a number of the earth gems, but it's better to um, just rely on the on the 2400 damage that you'll get from the jailers so as you can see we've got two boosts because you got the number two in the face at the side so that tells you that we we have delayed the boss twice so we got 2400 increase and as you can see a hundred and two trillion coming from frozen devastation however what i would say about that damage is that frozen devastation my frozen Dev copy of frozen devastation that i've got it's at maximum it's got six pink star and it's awoken five times so it's at maximum potential so that's the reason why my frozen devastation is dealing such large amount of damage because it's it's maxed out However, if you've got a one pink star frozen devastation and it isn't awoken, then you would probably be dealing far less damage unless you're generating far more power gems on the board. I'm not dealing 
as much power gems as I would like because I've only got Apex Predator. However, if I did have a copy of the current ultimate form, I would be generating power gem sixes and not power gem ones because Apex Predator only generates power gem ones. So that would add to the total um, damage output of the deck. Now we're going to take a look at the same deck using three keys. We're going to see the maximum damage that this deck is able to generate using three keys. And then we can see how powerful this combination actually is. So we're going to swap our power gems and we're going to look at the total damage dealt by the arcane killer cards. So 500 trillion. 1.158 trillion and run about 100 trillion for watches of the wave so that that is almost 800 trillion damage from that combination however do bear in mind that my copy of frozen devastation is maxed it's at maximum potential so last but not least i'm going to take a look at this combination using chaotic killer cards and these cards are boosted by Headstrong Sirens. Now, Headstrong Sirens, as long as you've got 16 or more power gems on the board, it will give you a boost. And there you can see we've got the boost at the side. And all we do is activate all our cards. And then we just swap our power gems. And let's see the total damage. And this one, 24 trillion, 16 trillion, 16 trillion. So the damage on this one is relatively low. It's not as high as the, say, the next two combination, but it is something that would work if you haven't got anything um, a bit more powerful. So let's take a look at the same combination using three keys. Let's see the maximum amount of damage it's able to deal. And then we can decide which deck is the MVP of these three non-event deck? I think it's Jailers. And I love that combination. It's really quick, it's really powerful, really nice to use as well. So let's take a look at the total damage this one will deal. And as you can see, 124 trillion, 86 trillion, 86 trillion. So just a bit on the just a bit on the 3 trillion so just say 3 trillion just round it off so 3 trillion 300 trillion while the jailers uh, combination was able to deal over 800 trillion so i would say the jailers the combination using the jailers is the combination that you probably would go for now when it comes to the current deck i would say the current deck is nice to have you don't need to have the current deck because the current ultimate form would be just a support card for say the jailers combination or the headstrong siren combination or even for the supreme santa combination so the current deck is just a supporting deck which is a nice supporting deck because i can see an application for it going forward it's a really good utility deck to have so it's nice to have not need to have don't go deep because I mean if you take a look at this I did get that um, I did get that sp special vault and basically if I spend 4,000 gems I would get a guaranteed ultra rare now that would be useful for me if say I got a copy of the master collection card from the vault first and foremost and secondly if I had the 4,000 gems but I haven't got the 4,000 gems. And as I said, I'm saving my gems. And um, I did go into the pack, the, the retro pack this morning, went up to the second tier of that pack. And I did manage to get um, my six coins and two from the event taking me up to 20 coins. So I just need 22 more coins. So tomorrow I'll collect an additional six and sat there, kind of collect an additional six. So that's 12 extra coins I'll be collecting plus the four, extra four from the collection. So I will have quite a number 
of coins going into the next event so if the next event we've got a really good deck and i do manage to get something from the vault i can actually craft something so that's really nice so as i say be wise with your gems and um play the game wisely don't go up to tier four just for going up to tier four sake because you can get far more coins by saving that 2500 gems and going into the retro pack and collecting an additional 12 coins for 2000 gems so that would be my advice for you so that's all i've got for you today if the information is helpful like the video if you've got a question leave it in the um, comment box below if you've got a comment leave it in the comment box below as well so like subscribe for those of you who haven't subscribed as yet and this is i saying have a good day see you on the next video